75. You're, you should pick up 80 to 100 wheel on gotcha. yeah. top of your 93 number. So realistically on the 85 on the ghoul package, mid 900s on mm -hmm. Tim Barr's Dino, maybe a little lower. To the lower. wheel. Gotcha. To the wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, on a on a Dino Jet's old software. Sure. Um, you know, upper nines, mid upper nines, nines, somewhere around there. You know. Until the crank, easily a thousand plus. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. Uh, easily yeah, a thousand easily. plus. We're running out yeah. of space on the the radio. You can't go higher than a thousand twenty two. All right, guys. As you can see, back at Palmer. At this point, I might as well just get some property, man, and just stay yeah, down here. Need a condo. I need a condo and become an Atlanta Falcons fan, man. You know what I mean? We lost last week too. We actually won. We won in Munich, Germany. Was that the third one? <laughs> yeah, that's the We're on a two-game winning streak. Yeah. First two-game winning streak in like four seasons. So we got the Hellcat here. It's got the Demon package on it, but we want more. Yeah. Is that right? That's yeah. right. We're coming out with a new package. A new package. So uh, some people have heard it's called the Ghoul package. Yes. Um, it's basically set up to, um, if you want to stay on 93, have a little bit more than the Demon, mm -hmm. and then come back later for E85. Um, it's making it where you basically you can add on to it to basically go E down the road, or we can do it all at once. Mm -hmm. So you want to kind of go over what it is? Yeah, exactly? yeah. So, you know, the Ghoul package is meant for people who want E85. Sure. Um, whether now or down the road. Mm -hmm. um, the base package, uh, Ghoul package, you're going to be on 93. Mm -hmm. um, the, it's all based around so on our demon package we run a 285 pulley yeah on the ghoul package we're running a 278 pulley a small um, one. Mm -hmm. and it also will have an idler on there as well mm -hmm. so if you you won't be able to run your billet can anymore mm -hmm. um, with the idler because uh, it kind of banks off of that mm -hmm. but basically in the past the way e85 has worked on a hellcat is you have to swap your pulleys. Mm -hmm. You know, if you if you want to swap between 93 and E85, which most people do, yeah, um, you would have to change your pulley. Well, we're eliminating that. Good. So basically, you're going to run one pulley size because yeah. I don't really want customers changing pulleys. Sure, sure. That's a, it's a mechanically inclined people can, but sure. I'd rather not. Yeah, um, yeah. That's a hassle. So in in typical fashion, before E85, you'd run a 265 pulley. Sure. Which is you know pretty small, mm -hmm. not crazy small, but we kind of go in the middle yeah. with a 278 in between a 285 and a 265. Sure. So that's why we chose that pulley. We don't want anybody to change anything. So the only thing you'd have to do when you go from 93 to E85 is just flip your tube. Gotcha. And we have an RTD device, um, you know, Plugs we'll, right into your OBD. Yep. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about the tuner here in a little bit. Sure. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see some well, things have changed. Some yeah. things have changed. Um, yeah. But uh, so basically you just plug your RTD device in. Yeah. And then you, it takes two minutes. Sure. Um, and we'll do a breakdown on that. Sure. Uh, the second time around in that mm -hmm. video on how to do it. It's very easy. Mm -hmm. um, so you would just run your gas out. Yeah. You know, pretty much as low as you can. And mm -hmm. uh flip over to E85 or 93, mm -hmm. it takes two minutes, you flash it and you're, you're on your way. So the biggest benefit that I'm hearing from you right now is you can run both 93, but then when you want to get the full power and the full benefit of it, you can switch over to E85. Yep, you gotcha. can switch over to E85 and you don't have to change your pulley. Because gotcha. Like I said, in the past, the way most E85 has been done sure. is you would have to change your pulley. Okay. Um, I don't really want customers. Or be on that. E85 forever. Yeah, or yeah, be yeah. on E85 forever. Yeah. So um, this is a happy medium, sure. you know, pulley. Um, so mm -hmm. that's the huge benefit. And we also have some other stuff too, mm -hmm. uh, a flex link that helps yeah. us check your ethanol percentage. So you can know if you go to like a, a, an E85 station that you're not familiar with, yeah. you can see what the percentage is before you start. Gotcha. You know, yeah going crazy so we have safeguards in place sure to make it as easy as possible okay to, you know because i know that's a big thing with e85 yeah a lot of people get you know they're they don't trust every e85 station mm -hmm. you gotta you know check them and make sure that the ethanol percentage is right true um so we try to make it as easy as possible gotcha um and so the base package like i said it, it runs 93 mm -hmm. um and we're not. We're putting 1,300 injectors in it on the okay. package. Okay. So it's a big injector. Mm -hmm. It's what you need for E85. So we're not double dipping in labor mm -hmm. um, if you want to go to E85 down the road. Sure. So. Okay. But yeah, it's a uh, you know the Ghoul package is based around E85, mm -hmm. but also on 93 you're getting you know you're getting a pretty small pulley for 93. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Um, and the reason why we, we did the package this way is if you have a red eye, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily need to do pumps. No, you don't do pumps because it already comes dual pump. It already comes dual pump. Yeah. Okay. So that's why we made the package the way it is. Sure. Because I don't want to tell you, you know, a price. The price difference between the Demon and mm -hmm. the Ghoul is only... Basically the idler pulley, mm -hmm. if you're adding that, as well as the 1300s, which are about $800 more compared to the ID 1050s. Yeah. So, I mean... Give or take a thousand bucks over mm -hmm. the demon package. Over the demon. Um, mm -hmm. Gets you into the 93 ghoul. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to go full on E85, after that, you mm -hmm. would add um, the pump kit if you're in a Hellcat, not yeah. Red Eye. Um, you would add a flex link, like you were saying, so you can read your ethanol. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you want, you can switch over to the improved racing. Yeah. Um, to get the improved catch racing can. catch can. So that relocates yeah. it side mount instead of. You know, right yeah. there um, where the idler is going to be mounted. So the location will be different of the catch can. Yeah, it's going yeah, to mount over there next to the It mounts over bottle. here, gotcha. right in the washer bottle. Gotcha. So it's real nice and uh, you know, away. out of the way. Sure. And it's not hot as hell whenever you go to. <laughs> when you go to, <laughs> yeah, unscrew go to it and, uh, and yeah. And All right, so we're just looking at a random Hellcat here. Nobody's in particular. So what are we looking at here? <laughs> so that's the 278 that we were talking about in the ghoul package. On the ghoul. And then our idler yeah. pulley. So you um, notice there's no catch can here. Where's yeah. that? So the catch can's over here. It's remote. Gotcha. Uh, it's real nice. It's still pretty easy to get to. Sure. And then the hoses kind of dip in here nice yeah. and clean. Very clean. So it's very easy when it's hot. Yeah. You don't have to, like, burn the sh crap out of yourself over there. It's, sure. It's, not, it's cooler over here. I like that design. Yeah. Much more hidden. Sure. The third part is obviously the what you need to be able to flip from 93 tune to E85 tune, which gotcha. is a, a, the tuner which you log into your phone. Yeah. You know, select what map, and it'll be labeled E85 map or mm -hmm. 93 yeah. map. Good so stuff. that way you can switch it back and forth depending on what you're doing. So it's straightforward. Yeah. It's a simple, it's relatively simple app. Yeah. So boom, I'm on 93. I'm less than a quarter of a tank. I want to get active. I want to get the full power of the car. Take it to a gas station where I've got E85. Fill up with E85. And before I take off, maybe sit in the car and program. Flip your tune. Yeah. To flip the tune e to E85. Yeah, before you start. You know, it. a few miles and check the ethanol with it, which is another app, the mm -hmm. FlexLink app, and that'll tell you exactly what content E85 you have. Um, and I believe the number's above 70. Mm -hmm. I think it's above 70 percent. Sure. Um, I, th I think that's the number that we're saying. Mm -hmm. If you're below that, obviously you just don't beat on it too hard. Sure. Uh, maybe find another E85 station sure. and gotcha. top it off. Yeah. You know. Um, and it also depends on if you had a quarter tank yeah. on E. You know, yeah. If you're at a half a tank and you top it off D, you're not going to be ready. You know, you want to yeah. run it as close to Empty. with the lights on. Yeah. Fill it, you know, as much up with E85 as you can. Gotcha. And then check your, con you know, your E85 content. Yeah, and not mm -hmm. all ethanol stations are the equal same. Sure. as well. So, you know, there's a station near us. They pretty much, they're like 82% ethanol. Gotcha. And then, you know, a racetrack near us, they're more like 72%. So, okay. I mean... Not every station is equal, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, we try to make it as easy as possible mm -hmm. to be as safe as possible. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so once you switch over to E85, now this tune is different from what we've seen with other cars. There's not a certain amount of miles that you need to drive before you can turn the car off. No. Is it fair right. to say that once not, you put E85 in it and you flip the tune, you're good? Right, yeah. Okay. Well, once you put E85 in it, and you you flash over to your 93 sure. or your E85 yeah. tune, um, you're you're good. Okay. Um, definitely give it maybe like a mile mm -hmm. or something like that. that. Yeah. For, for the flex. Well, by the time you know yeah, you drive it from the dealer of the, the yeah ethanol percentage. Yeah. Gotcha. And then you know which is normal because I mean by the yeah. time you drive from the gas station wherever you're going, yeah. by that right. time it'll yeah. it'll register because I know with some tunes we've talked about where you're required to drive for what. 12 miles, 12 yeah, minutes, yeah, something yeah. like that. So we'll this is and, not that. We'll go ahead and dip into that uh, that controversy, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we did switch tuners. Um, it's not uh, it's not any bad blood with our previous tuner. Sure. Um, we, for logistical reasons, mm -hmm. um, we did switch to someone who's closer to us. Mm -hmm. um, he's like, you know, 15 minutes yeah. sure. down the road. Um, an hour. And he also, yeah, before it was about an hour across town. Gotcha. So it just Atlanta. makes sense. So, yeah, it just makes sense. You know, he was kind of posing a problem and also unlocks. Yeah. Um, he does all his PCM unlocks in-house. Gotcha. So before we were quoting people on demon packages and ghoul packages, mm -hmm. well, not yet, but um, about a week, yeah. you know, to because we have to ship the PCM out. Gotcha. You know, and that's a, 
that can be a liability too. Absolutely. Stuff gets lost in the Stuff mail. Stuff gets lost, gets um, delayed, sure. Now we're able to turn these out in 24 to 48 hours. So gotcha. maybe you just get a hotel. Yeah. And we have, because we get a lot of people from out of town. Sure. Uh, we got people coming from New York, I think, next month or something like that. Gotcha. New York uh, and then Texas. Yeah, Texas. No, sorry, New Mexico. Oh, New, New Mexico. Mexico. Damn. That's okay. Even crazy. That's even crazy. <laughs> I don't know, man. So the PCM can be unlocked same day. Same, same day, day, same yeah. place. Yeah. Gotcha. If we plan it right. Gotcha. So if we plan it right, um, because our tuner, he's a big tuner. Yeah. Um, he's Do you want to say busy. the name of the tuner? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, obviously, if yeah. you've been around Mopars, you should know who this is. Barth Tuning. This is Tim Barth. Tim Barth, um, yeah. He is the OG yeah. of Mopar Tuning. Sure. He, he was making these fast before they were Hellcats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so he is incredibly knowledgeable. Um, you know, he's... He, he does a lot of his own R&D mm -hmm. and stuff. He's yeah. extremely smart. Um, so much so that he's one of only two guys in the whole world, I think, that's yeah. able to adapt the Demon 170 um, flex fuel sensors into these cars. Gotcha. Right? So he Is that what we're doing with this one? That's not. That's what we're the difference. Doing. Okay, okay, I get yeah. confused. My so, bad. That's, so that's the other one. That's miles. the one you got to yeah. drive for 12 miles, so not this is, one. He has done his own coding yeah. and made made it work um, yeah. he's only one of i think two guys now in the whole country world yeah. that's able to do this because flex fuel tuning on a hellcat has been non-existent in the past sure but there's some caveats with it you mm -hmm. have to drive it like 12 miles yeah. in order for it to read your ethanol mm -hmm. content um, that's the other tune not this one not this gotcha. one. gotcha yeah. i don't want to specify yeah, yeah. The RTD. yeah, yeah. with so the rtd you just flip with, it with that setup mm -hmm. you don't have to flash at all gotcha you have you just drive it, you you just just drive drive it. it. Yeah. but there's a couple of caveats yeah you know uh you you have to drive it 12 miles for it to learn yeah um you know so we can do either one mm -hmm. that that technology is a little expensive because you have to run a demon 170 pcm sure and you have to have the demon 170 uh sensor mm -hmm. um so it's doable mm -hmm. which i think speaks volumes to his knowledge and credibility mm -hmm. but we can do it but it's a little pricey yeah. um, and the car is down much longer he's and the car is down much longer we have to have the car for like a week gotcha um you know it just takes time he used three different tuning softwares to do it sure i don't want to let his secret out too much and, sure you know on the stuff that he does but he's extremely knowledgeable good stuff so on the, what the ghoul package the base ghoul on 93 that's strictly on 93 i would say low to mid eights yeah low to mid eights um to the wheel to, to the, the wheel, wheel. Yeah, okay the wheel. Now, to the wheel now to the crank caveat, 900 plus all that stuff there's a caveat there too uh tim bars dyno does read lower because okay. he's on a new dyno jet software sure so you may dyno 850 on his dyno if you go down the street to another dyno jet and get dyno, you may be high 800. High 800. So it's about 40 or 50 off, gotcha. give or take. You know, uh, but so in theory, people shouldn't maybe. get wrapped too wrapped mm -hmm. up in numbers because okay. I'm gonna tell you how you when you drive it yeah. is how you know. That's how you know. You know how fast it really is, gotcha. how hard you're spinning, mm -hmm. you know, all that good stuff. And then once you flip to the E map, if yeah. you are on E85, you're, you should pick up 80 to 100 wheel gotcha. on top of your 93 number. So realistically, on E85 on the Ghoul package, um, you know, you should be mid 900s on mm -hmm. Tim Barstano, maybe a little to the lower wheel. Gotcha. to the wheel mm -hmm. uh, on a on a Dino Jet's old software. Sure. Um, you know, upper nines, mid upper nines, nines, somewhere around there. You know, into the crank easily a thousand plus. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. Uh, easily yeah, a thousand easily. plus. Running out yeah. of space on the the radio, can't go higher than a thousand twenty-two. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's a good point. Yeah. Max is out there for some reason. So the SRT pages maxes out at a thousand twenty-two. You'll yeah. be there. Gotcha. Yeah. And that's where this will be with the E85. Definitely. Gotcha. Definitely. And we to have the a crank. cool badge to this V switch. You know, yeah, that's the demon. get lazy and leave it at the demon. <laughs> yeah. So we will be putting ghoul badges yeah. on there. And we also have some other stuff we can do too. Maybe yeah. you want to stay on 93 and yeah. you don't want anything to do with ethanol. E85, yeah. Um, you know, we can do a demon plus package where we take the pulley off yeah. of the ghoul package and put it on the, the demon, demon package. And then you pulley. say you don't do the bigger injectors. So, mm -hmm. you know, and, and if you're really all about 93, mm -hmm. you know, you Kong port the blower. Yeah. You know, do the, the ghoul package. Uh, pulley. Yeah. I mean, you're pushing big numbers there for 93. Sure. I mean, that's impre impressive numbers. Uh, 
And if you want to run 93, 90% of the time, that's perfectly fine. You can, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I mean, you're the type of person that only wants to put E85 once a, track, once a foot, yeah, for the track or yeah, just once or, a month type deal. You know, maybe maybe you don't have any E85 stations near you. Sure. You can always run barrel fuel like ethanol one okay. or ignite or boostane E85 race fuel. Boostane, yeah. In the, in the barrel. Sure. And you can just get some of that mm -hmm. and, you know dump it in yeah, every yeah. so often when you go to the track yeah it has, a, track. Year life, so. yeah, it has so. a year shelf life so uh a lot of performance shops sell ethanol too yeah. and yeah. you know we we sell boostane we can yeah. get you e85 race fuel by the barrel keep Good 50 stuff. gallons in the garage and yeah yeah you keep, keep 50 gallons the yeah yeah okay so, um lots of uh options there Good stuff. if you don't have an e85 station near yeah. you sure so i want to okay. say the so i know the question was if you're never going to go e yeah. We have that Demon Plus or mm -hmm. the base school. Um, we had a car um, that had ported blower and snout, 278 pulley, mm -hmm. pure 93. Like it wasn't on um, flex. Um, it was 846 to the wheels. That's, yeah. That's a really high pump gas package. Yeah. Um, so that was 278 ported and polished blower. And then, you know, obviously everything else that comes to the Demon package. And that's on 10 bars, you know, dyno. Yeah. So, sure. you know, at about 40. 40. To that, yeah. that's so impressive. high 800s to the wheel. Yeah. That's impressive 93 numbers. That's sure. really impressive. So, all right, guys. So, we're looking at right now it's a demon. When I get it back, it'll be a ghoul. And we're talking E85, 1000 horsepower to the crank. Definitely. Uh, Definitely yeah, 900 plus to the wheel. Yeah, hopefully upper 90s or oh, 900s. Yeah, something close to it. Yeah, all right, man. So, I mean. You know, I'm excited. Bart tuning. This is going to be yep. new for everybody, so I'm excited about that yep. venture as well. So yeah, uh, he, is, he is tuned a lot of cars, and yeah. he tunes for a lot of shops that you may not know about. Gotcha. So. <laughs> <laughs> a little, uh, a little inside hat right there. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. So that's it, guys. Palmer Dodge, man. They're doing crazy stuff. So now we got the Ghoul package. So we took it a whole step above the Demon. Yep. Yep. So if you want a thousand plus in a Hellcat, you can get that now. All right, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. As you can tell, Kyler, Ryan, all the information will be in the description. If you want to start asking questions, I'm sure you do. Hit okay. them on Instagram. Pricing on the next video. Pricing on yeah, the next we're video, yeah. There's yeah. not a huge difference between the, the, the demon and the, and the demon. Sure. But, um, we'll have it all drawn out for you. Yeah. Have the flyer. Gotcha. Yep. So when I come and pick it up, we'll have all that ironed out. Yep, absolutely. But as always, guys, it's been your boy Knockout down here at Palmer. See you guys in the next one. Peace.